Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom. In this video, we'll show you how to get set up so that passwords you save in Chrome will automatically sync among all of your devices. If you're trying to keep track of passwords and logins like most people, one great option is to use the free password manager built into Chrome, Google's web browser. Chrome can sync your logins so that they're available on your computer, your smartphone, your tablet, wherever you need them. And it's all free. Chrome is a particularly good option if your computer and other devices are not all made by the same company. It's pretty common to have a Windows computer and an iPhone, or a Chromebook and an iPad, for example. Chrome can work with all of your devices so that your passwords are available to you everywhere. To get the password sync to work, you'll need two things. First, you'll need a Gmail or a Google account. What does that mean? If you already have a Gmail address, that's the account you will use. But you don't have to use Gmail. You can have a Google account with your existing non-Gmail email address. Both give you access to a whole bunch of Google services, including Sync. The main difference is that a Gmail account includes email and a Google account doesn't. It's that simple. If you don't already have a Gmail or Google account, you can sign up for one quickly and easily. We'll look at how in a moment. The second thing you'll need is Chrome syncing on every device where you want your passwords to be available. You'll need to install Chrome on each device if you don't have it already, and then turn on the sync. Let's see how all of this works. If you need a Gmail or Google account, just search the web for Create a Google Account, and you should find this page where you can create an account for yourself. You can also go directly to accounts.google.com. Notice right here, if you do not want Gmail, this is how you choose to create a Google account using your existing email address. We won't waste time explaining how to fill out this form. It's pretty easy. Usually the hardest part is finding a username you like that isn't taken already. Now let's look at the second requirement, getting Chrome installed and syncing. On a phone or tablet, you install Chrome just like you would any other app. Open the App Store and find Chrome. Tap the buttons on each page to get or download the app. Once it's installed and you open it for the first time, accept the terms and conditions, and it will either ask you to log in, or if it recognizes your account, it asks you if you want to turn on sync. If you want to use a different account, just tap the down arrow here to add a new account. Tap Yes, I'm in to turn on the sync, and then answer any other little questions that come up like this, and you're done. Once you have the Chrome app, you can easily check if sync is working. Just tap the three dots in the lower right corner, which is the More menu. On the menu, tap Settings, and in Settings, you'll see right away if Sync is on. You can also manage the Sync settings on this page. Tap Done to close Settings. On a computer, installing software is sort of like installing an appliance in your home. First, it gets delivered. That's the download part. And then it has to be hooked up. That's the installation. We're going to walk through this on a Mac where it can be a little bit trickier. First, do a quick web search for Download Chrome. Click on one of the Chrome download links to get to the correct page, which should look like this, and then click Download Chrome. On a Mac, you have to choose whether you have a Mac with an Intel or an Apple chip. If you're not sure, click the Apple menu and choose about this Mac. In the window that appears, look at the line that says Processor. This one has an Intel chip, so now that we know that, we can close this window and click on the correct version. You may also need to click Allow to start the download. Once the download has finished, locate it and click on it to start the installation. This part can take a few minutes. I'm speeding it up here. Then you'll be prompted to drag the Chrome icon to the Applications folder like this. We can close these windows while Chrome is copying into the Applications folder and the installation's finished. To run Chrome, since it's not in the dock, open Launchpad and click on Chrome. You may see one last warning from Apple about opening software download from the internet. Click Open. Finally, if you like, you can drag the Chrome icon to the main part of the dock so it is always available. Now take a look at the top right corner of the Chrome page. See the little generic head? That tells us that we are not signed in and not syncing. Click the head and click Turn on Sync. Sign in with your Gmail or Google account and password, and then confirm that you want to turn on Sync. When we're done, the little head changes to an icon with your initial. And if we click on that, we can see that Sync is on. 
Here, for your convenience, our friend Monkey is showing you the addresses of the two web pages you need to create an account or to download Chrome on your computer. Once you've completed these steps, passwords that you save in Chrome will automatically sync among all your devices. It's a lot more convenient and safer than trying to keep a list of them on a piece of paper. Check out our videos about how to see your passwords in Chrome on your computer or phone. There are links to those in the description below. That's it! Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave us comments and questions. Click like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.com videos.